it was a good day. Uh, you know, it's um, Tuesdays are always a little bit tough just because you've, you know, Monday off, big academic day, so getting our guys back up and running. But I thought today was really good. I thought they brought it. I thought a lot of really good things tomorrow. I anticipate tomorrow will be better. Looking over the depth chart uh, that we saw for the first time yesterday, there were a number of, I don't know, interesting parts like Mike Smith moving to the end or, or not necessarily moving, but I guess maybe moving back. Um, well, we just felt like there was a need there. We felt that we felt that our four best were Will, Bolton, Dylan Bradley, and Mike Smith. Now, Mike's still going to play inside some. Um, I think Mike's done a great job inside. But when we looked at when we take the field, who we want is our four best. That's what came up. And so, not that we don't have other good players we like there, but bottom line was, if you're going to get 75, 80 snaps a game, and the ones are going to take half of them, and then you're going to try to rotate other guys through, you certainly want your best players out there the most, so in, and in the positions to give us the best chance to win. So that, that's how we came to that. And then there were some other, maybe, I don't know, curiosity, curiosity is maybe the right word. How much of that sort of thing, especially the first week, is gamesmanship, or is that even close to oh, reality? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, I, what I put it down is what I expect us to take the field with come Saturday night. You know, I don't, I don't know what'll happen here, what happened today and tomorrow and what happens. I mean, if I could predict that, then I wouldn't be coaching. I'd be playing lotto. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, what, what, that's what we have right now. That's our depth chart. That's who we anticipate take the field and play Saturday night. Coach, heading into the first game, I know you don't talk about specific injuries and all, but as far as overall health of the team, how are y'all feeling? We're fine. <laughs> no, we have, we have, everybody has bumps and bruises. Everybody loses players from the NFL to high school football. No one cares. So we're fine. We're healthy enough. We can put enough good players out there to give us give ourselves a chance and you know it's going to be about who who who's the most mentally tough team and who's the most physically tough team and who has the best week of practice will win Saturday night that's the way it's always been coach looking at your receivers how many guys do you expect to rotate in and out of the wide receiver spot I think you always anticipate playing the two deep everywhere I've been you anticipate playing at least the two deep so I don't think that would be any different no matter what you run offensively I don't care if you're option or if you're pro I if you're spread you're going to probably play the two deep a lot's been talked about Zach Woodford and his impact on the program since he got here. Um, how is there anything, any brain picking of his? I mean, because obviously UAB went two and ten or whatever, and then played Mississippi State really, really well last year and went six and six. So how much does Mississippi State on the horizon? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it, you're looking at the film from last year, but it's a different defensive coordinator. I thought they did a great job last year of getting big plays. That's what they did. They really didn't consistently move it on offense. What they did is they got four big plays, and that's that's what's you know that's what everybody's looking for. How do you score points? All the areas we talked about, you know. So they did a really nice job of that. But there were other things like preparation for games, not specifically Mississippi State or a nine o'clock game or those things. I mean, you're just picking his brain of how we can get our guys to play their fastest come Saturday night more than anything, not specific X's and O's. You can see that on film. Anything else? Thanks, Kevin. All right, guys. Thank you for coming in.